Dominican Friars in Rwanda. Commemoration of the Martyrdom of Innocent Children. Every year on December 28th, the church invites us to commemorate the martyrdom of innocent children. In the gospel that is proposed to us today, Herod, disappointed by the murderer, would not give him the report of their visit to the baby king, and fearing that one day he would be dethroned by this baby who has just been born, became enraged at all the male babies and exterminated them. Jesus escaped this massacre thanks to the angel's warning and St. Joseph's obedience. What can we learn from this martyrdom? In the face of this cruelty and savagery, the only good news we can learn is not to repeat our bad experiences or those of others. This gospel passage warns us and shows us that rivalry, fear of losing one's power or position in society and uncontrolled anger, when combined, can lead us to immoral actions such as this massacre of innocent children or other forms of genocide or crime that still plunge many families and countries into mourning. Today, rivalry, the fear of losing one's position in one's family, in the society, or in a company, and the uncontrolled anger that can result from it still exists. Because of these negative feelings, anyone can fall into their traps like Herod. This is the case with abortion for fear of what will people say. It is the case with poisoning in neighborhoods. It is the case with defamation in the workplace. It is the case with imprisonment and the unfounded killings in dictatorial political systems, etc. Today, the commemoration of these children matters question us about how we deal with our rivalry, fear, and anger. How do we manage our competitors? What do we fear in life? What does anger make me do easily in my community, in my family, at work, and in my society? Let us pray to God to give us the wisdom to better manage our negative feelings now and forever. Amen.